What's going on you guys? I have an updated guide on how to acquire the best lightweight Witcher school gear. If you're new here and would like to support the channel, consider subscribing you guys. You really help out by doing so. If you like the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Now, let's go get this gear set. Okay, so right now we're in Novigrad at Elector Square. As you can see, and now I'm going to pull up the map, and we're going to want to travel just north of this location to this marker I just placed. Now, as you can see, I'm going to speed it up a little so you can see the way all the way down to the cave that we're going to want to find. Now, you will know you're in the right spot once you reach the mouth of a cave. Once in the cave, there are many treasures, wraiths, and drowners you will come across exploring in here, but the first thing you're going to notice is a big-ass golem. You'll want to take it out, but afterwards, you're going to see a door up here, but it says locked, key required. So come back down, and right off to the right here, you're going to see this little passageway through the cave. Follow that, and when you come up, you're going to see kind of like a rock that you can translate. It says, look to the depths to be lifted up. So long story short, what you're going to want to do is flip all these levers, on these statues and make sure they're all facing the center of this circle now be careful because rays can spawn here at any time and catch you off guard but once you turn all the statues the floor will turn will open up revealing a pool of water with a couple of drowners swimming around in there just jump in and pop them with your crossbow or if you're fast enough swim all the way to the bottom because that's where the key is on a skeleton you want to use your witcher senses by the way to help you find it especially if you're just trying to get in and get out super fast or pop cat eye will really help out as well but now that you have the key run back to the locked door and use the key once inside you're going to see someone meditating like a creepy weirdo you know it kind of freaks you out when you first see it. you're like whoa i was not expecting anyone in here like that but uh it looks like they're burning from the inside out too by the way but uh this is mad key in right so yeah you're gonna want to beat their ass by the way a tip use K uh quen because he is fast as shit so if you're playing at higher difficulties then plan your attacks wait for the right time to strike you guys he is also using uh quen at the time so you know watch out for that because at times he'll just hold quen open and if you come at him and try and hit his bubble it's gonna daze you and then one hit from him can really drop your health down especially if he's higher level than you are but once you beat him loot his body he will have four diagrams for the feline trousers gauntlets boots and armor this is going to activate the cat school gear scavenger hunt quest if you don't already have it or it's going to update you on the next locations for the feline crossbow and both the feline steel and silver sword next pretty much after this you're going to want to need a boat want to need a boat yeah you know you're going to need a boat because you're going to have to travel to this remote island believe me do not swim especially how far away you are there because if you try there's always drowners lurking in the water so you're going to want to come to this remote island which also has guarded treasure on it that you'll have to fight a basilisk for but as you can see on the map this is where you'll want to go to find the next piece of gear now once you're here go inside this ruined ship there will be a chest this is where you're going to find the feline crossbow for the cat uh school gear armor now after this the next piece i'm going to go after is all the way across the map just near uh vego bud residence once you're here you'll want to jump down this ledge in this hole but be careful with Geralt's clumsy ass like i've said before once down here if you're using uh your witcher senses you're you're gonna come across a wall that could be knocked down by using ard now loot this body when you find the body laying in here and you're going to come across the feline silver sword and after getting the silver sword we only have one more piece of gear left guys and that's the feline steel sword so where you're going to want to do is travel to this location and there is this castle here you're going to want to make it through by the way be careful there's always bandits in this area and once you make your way through this castle um also another tip i recommend looting everything in this castle here because there's so much good crafting materials here. But at the very bottom of the castle, once you go down all the freaking ladders, there will be another chest which will have the feline steel sword. And then your scavenger hunt quest will be um, done for. And the basic uh, witcher cat gear is now all yours. So you have to be level 17 to wear this gear, you guys, just so you know. But now you have the basic cat uh, school gear armor. Remember, you can go and find... 
gear armor and stuff like this from armor or weaponsmiths. A lot of times they sell like a note or a letter from a witcher that can activate this. So keep that in mind, you guys. But I hope this guide helped you guys out in how to locate all the pieces. I have more videos on the way. If you guys would like to see some lore videos let me know down in the comments after reading the first two books and played the games also seen the show that just aired on netflix but there's so much in the books i feel that is lost in really cool lore aspects so let me know but if that's um but if that's what you guys you know if you don't care for the lore just let me know but that's all i really have for you guys in this vid um you guys can follow me on twitter at hambone gaming but that is all i have for you guys on this video so i will catch you all in the next one later